Let me share another great use case created by our friend Leopoldo Aguirre, also known as Polo. And this has to do with adding to the PFSense installation we've done so far in, in our homes uh, to add URL information. Where are my IoT devices talking to? And you can see by the URL, you, we can see IPs already from the firewall permit, but URLs are more useful for us humans to identify where my IoT devices and people going out there. We're going to be doing first with HTTP and in another video we do the HTTPS component. So in order to do that we need to install a component in both a, a parser in Curator and a component in uh, PFSend called Squid. It's a proxy. It's kind of equivalent to blue code, um, WebSense and those type of things in the corporate environment. This is uh, the, the version for PFSense. To do that, if you expand with any software the ISO image, which I already did in here, and you go under Post and under DSM RPMs, and you scroll under DSM S, uh, you're going to find the Squid one. No, not on Protocol DSM. Squid, here it is. And you need to use Falzilla or whatever means, which I already used for, uh, to move it and move it to the temporary directory. So I have it already here. So once you, you've done that, all you have to do is go into a terminal. Actually, let me clear this because I was uh, testing this before. And you need to run the following program. RPM and the switches are capital U H V lowercase H and lowercase V and then the name of the element you just type DS and then tap and it should find it and you're going to see that in my system it's going to say that it's already installed because I already tried that but then if you haven't installed it you should see in a minute or two that this process completes once that completes uh, the system is going to ask you to deploy changes please do me a favor don't deploy just changes go here and do deploy full configuration the reason is this package i think it has some uh, maybe some protocol that comes a, uh, along and it requires at least in 7331 which is this version of ce i don't think that that you need that in 732 but in 731 you need to deploy full configurations once you've done that you need to do one more thing which is add if we go to the security app exchange, you can find, if you put the word squid, you're going to find these custom properties for squid. And they, this has some custom properties that we're going to be actually using, like the URL host, which is the contains the URL. And, and you don't want to be extracting properties and playing around with regex. So you have that package. You uh, install it by simply going in here, wherever you download that after you log in, uh, you click here on add and click OK and that's going to install this package that you actually see here. So now we have the parser ready, we have the the custom properties ready. Now we need to configure the PFSense device. So I'm here in my PFSense, I'm just covering my IP uh, here at home. And as you see in my, if you have this panel open, uh, the service status, you see that I don't have a squid anywhere here. To do that, you need to go to System, Package Manager, and then you are going to go into Available Packages. You're going to search for the word Squid, and that's going to download this is the one, the 3.5 branch. You confirm and that's uh, going to install the package. It's going to take uh, a few minutes until you read the word here, success. Let me post the video until then. So that took between two and three minutes, depending how anxious you uh, are at the moment. And um, we need to do a couple of uh, configurations in here. Notice that now on their services, we have squid proxy service. Don't, we are not messing with the uh, reverse proxy. That's for somebody wanting to get access into your system. Uh, we're going to do just the proxy. 
So first thing you need to do, well, before you even uh, enable it here, Polo asked me to go into local cache, revise any option, which I don't have any to revise, but he said that it's important to click here, save, for these things to be uh, kind of activated. Once you get control back from it, we can go into general. You check this, obviously, to enable the, the squid proxy, and you need to select, uh, you go into this one, go into the next one, control, to select both my insecure network as well as my secure network. We scroll down. We need to enable transparent mode on both. So I select this one as well. We are not going to be doing in this video anything with SSL for the HTTPS. Again, in a separate video, we'll do that. You need to enable access log to get the logs to be sent and that's about it in here when you click on show advanced options and in here in custom option before out you need to write this line down and Polo explained to me that common is the format that curator expect uh, with the IP leading then info is the category of the informational message and local folly is apparently is a facility number four that is used for uh, sending these logs. Again, uh, I know it works. So we save that and we need to do one more short step which is to go under status system logs and under settings we need to select here this option uh, captive portal event that's the one we click save now our pfSense device is ready to send proxy logs to curator and the curator has already the DSN the parser ready for it but if we go into log sources we'll see that we don't have any because it needs to be auto discovered how does it get auto discovered by receiving HTTP only. Remember, we haven't done the HTTPS to make the video short. And how do we get HTTPS logs? Uh, proxy logs. So, let me... We need to generate some HTTP traffic. There are not that very many HTTP traffic left... Uh, tra websites left out there. So, let me bring you to one that will help you with this. So, this site, Altoro Mutual, is uh, HTTP only so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start clicking here on every one of these link and that's going to generate a fire proxy logs and we will see them coming stored if you look in the screen we pretty soon should be getting some stored uh, messages well actually already auto discover then notice the TCP miss from the web proxy so we are good but in general if you do it this the first time this is because I installed it before you need to go here and generate uh, say at least 25 events in uh, in less than five minutes in order to get the traffic analysis to auto discover this let me actually go to the log source and see that we have a log source that has been auto discovered so here we have it and notice that on the auto discover this one is actually true you need to change the parsing order the one that we created in another video for parsing PSNs uh, needs to be given lower priority so let me, let me put it down here because it's based on the uh, universal dsm so after we've done that we are good to go now in the so now you see that we are getting http logs i keep saying http log http proxy logs and uh, you see that these are, you know, first, first time that the proxy goes to look for this. That's what it says TCP miss. If the if we go to the site and, and it has it on the cache, it's going to say uh, TCP hit. So in the next video, we are going to do the HTTP portion of this.